not many folks remember what they were doing 10 years ago. But this is going to be a rather remarkable video because this is an analysis of what happened in about a tenth of a second about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago, I was actually up in the Rocky Mountains near Estes Park and I got caught in an absolutely fearsome thunderstorm. And uh, at the time, I had a camera that could record at about a thousand frames per second. And this is exactly what I saw. This is the actual video. So this is filmed at a thousand frames per second. So first of all, you're going to get, you see the drops of rain falling. Right? Drops of rain falling gives you an idea of uh, the actual speed of the video. So uh, up there, there you go. They're probably hail actually, but you, you see the hail drops falling. Right, anyway. So let's count how many lightning strikes we get. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 12, right? So uh, a question, how identical were those 12 lightning strikes? There's always been, I mean, first of all, how on earth do you get 12 lightning strikes? And what do they actually look like? You know, so these are about a, a thousand, a thousandth of a second per frame, millisecond per frame. And so these, I mean, this one clearly travels upwards. This one starts on the ground and travels upwards. Um, and is that the last one? I think that's the last one. Okay, right. So let's chop it down to the last one. Let's get rid of all that video. So, uh, yeah, the only reason I found out about this is uh, cleaning out an old car. It's actually got loads of lightning strikes on it. But this one was actually fairly impressive. Uh, yeah, once you're, once you're down to getting uh, yeah that many lightning strikes in the same place, uh, and this one, I think, is the first lightning strike where, I mean, you see how sluggish this guy is, right? Okay, so about here or something is going to be the, there's our nice little sluggish. And this is the other thing. You get to see how non-dense uh, hail is. <laughs> you only see one um, kadoopery of hail. Um, come on, there we go. And just look how long this guy takes to meander across the sky. He starts about there. So let's move our guy in. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's why it hits the ground. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And that's when it's about stopped moving. So it took uh, 24,000, uh, about um, 0.02 of a second. That's about the reaction time. Oh, <laughs> and then boom, it goes back up. That's incredible. So it takes you know, really quite a long time to meander across. Then when it gets to the ground, boom, and only one of them lights up. Right, so I'm going to stop it there because... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to make a copy of it. Okay. And the reason I'm making a copy of it, you'll see why in a second, because there are multiple other lightning strikes that come after this. So it's going to be, ooh. This one comes out of absolutely nowhere, right? I mean, whilst this previous one took, you know, 20 frames to go across the sky, this one is, boom, he's there in one frame. And then we get that. And this guy is super short as well. So I mean, all this, all the subsequent. Oh, look at that! That's gorgeous. So they come up from the ground after that. Where's the flash of light come from? That's fascinating. All right. Anyway, I'm going to slice it there. And this one is, again, it's all or nothing. And then it takes one frame, two frames, three, four. So these are like a few thousandths of a second, these guys. And the next one is, boom. Next one is super short. Oh, that's beautiful. You see this little hailstone just coming down here. 
That's gravity for you. Oh, did I miss it? There we go. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's put a slice in there. And... Boom. There's another one. All the Sapricon ones are really... Oh, boom. I mean, just think how unlucky you are. You actually got hit by this thing. It's like, when is this going to end? Boom. There's another one. Oh, this one does something weird as well. He goes from the ground and he goes up as well. There's another one. I missed one. Yeah, I did. Boom. This guy starts from the bottom and goes up as well. But I, I'm, I'm interested in how much this uh, pattern changes from the first strike to the last strike. Oh, there's lots here. So there's one, two, and this is three pulses, but it never really stops. It's like boom, boom, boom. There are three pulses there. So in keeping with the line of what I'm doing, there's pulse one, pulse two, pulse three. Right, so now you actually get to, uh, what are you getting an idea of how these, these, these pulses, oops. Uh, this is where it gets a bit embarrassing when you get to see just how much crap I've got on my editing timeline. Which is lots, by the way. <laughs> there we go. Um, boom. So um, you can now get a sort of interesting perspective of just how many pulses there were and roughly how long they were. So pulse one, right? That's the time that they lasted. So I'm going to give you the readout in between pulses. It's, it's about half a second between pulses there. That's about another half second. That's almost a second. That's just over a second. It's about a second. It's about a second. It's about a second. It's about a second. <laughs> uh, it's about half a second. And then these are really short. These are a tenth of a second between pulses at the end there. So let's just take a quick look at that again. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Right. So what I'm going to do is I want to know. Um, I'm going to take the last pulse. Right. So I'm, what I'm curious about is how different are the paths these pulses take. So if I come here, this is the last pulse. Right. That one there. So what I want to see is how does the last pulse compare to the first one? Right, so you get this great beam meandering guy who comes across the sky. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Boom. And... Right, so I want to compare that one to the last frame, which is that one. So now if I sort of slide between the two, I mean, all right, there's this huge fork thing here that comes off, but um, other than that, okay, there's a slight frame movement on it as well. These extra forks are, these are weird. So that's the, the the contrast between the first and the last. I've got a suspicion if I... Um, right, so I'm just going to move these all off to the side for the moment. Actually, no, I need an extra track in here. Insert track, there we go. So now, let's compare... To the next strike. 
which is about there somewhere. So this is now comparing, oops. I mean, those are identical. Actually, not entirely, not entirely. Look, there's a little squib up here that, uh, you know. So basically the path is all, is the path exactly the same? I'm struggling to see any differences. Okay, let's try this boy. Right, this this is one of the beauties that came up. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. So why does it sometimes basically light up the whole thing in an instant? And yeah, well, what changes the rate that these things go at? So again, let's... So just flip to that they're identical. I mean I I'm buggered if I can see any difference in the path whatsoever. I mean uh, the path is kind of weird anyway, but I mean you take this thing here. I wish I could get a close up of these, right? Like what the hell's this lightning bolt thinking? It's coming down, it's coming down, then it does a little whoop and it's exactly the same like a few seconds later. Boom, there. So I'm going to do one or two more of these just to check that they're all like this. I, mean, I think that's... Uh, right, so I'm just flipping between one track and the other, basically, to check for differences. And it's a sort of blink comparison. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, there's a slight movement on the camera because I'm just holding the camera loose. But other than that, these are identical as well. And okay, I'm going to skip one because for reasons. And yeah, okay. It's exactly the same again. So there you go. This is the analysis of a tenth of a second that happened um, a long time ago. Over a decade ago. And I was watching it. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. And that, that's at the high speed. It's only when you sort of go through it frame by frame that it gets all of this extra, what the hell's that all about? Like, uh, well, I mean, first of all, this is... I would love to understand some of this stuff. I really would. Like, you know, when it's coming down, all of a sudden it lights up this little trail here for reasons. <laughs> And then, actually, that's cool. This this guy splits off. Okay, so he, he leaves some irons here. So when it does hit the ground, this guy's going to light up. Apart from he doesn't. What the hell? Okay, this, this one goes out and he lights up. Boom. When he grounds. But this these extra forks. What extra forks we got? We got... This area here. But I, we, we got some extra. Right, I'm going to put a split in there so I know where it is. Uh, didn't we get some nice extra forky bits at one point? No. 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 Maybe it was... It, I'm sure we got some extra forky bits. No. No. And you can see that it goes up nicely. But there are no extra forky bits. The only one that gets the... Oh, no. The only one that gets the extra forky bits... Ah, no, I tell a lie. So it, it, it's the first one comes down, he splits, and then the there's one extra flash who goes down that extra fork as well. But let me just see if I can get this on the line for you. Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. So it comes all the way down. Yeah, this fork dies, and this this one comes back for one last flash. Boom, that one. But after that, this sidearm completely dies, and you're... Oh, no, no, he gets two more, two more flashes. And after that, he doesn't get anything else, and it's just that one spike. Kill! So I'm just going to leave you with one last frame by frame version of this lightning bolt because he's awesome. That's a lightning bolt 10 years ago. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, drop a like on it. And uh, thanks for watching.